my brother Hamid. Well, here we are again in our familiar guise of getting our behinds handed to us again. And, and of all teams, the Cleveland Browns. Now, you know how much shame we have to endure. And we can, you know what? This is why we can call ourselves the 49er faithful. Because unlike a lot of bandwagon fans, we'd have told these boys the goodbye a long time ago. If you're going to lose to a team, lose to a team. You lost to Johnny. You lost to Johnny Manziel. You embarrassed everybody in the... Okay, guys, you know what? I'm going to let you all talk today. I'm going to just sit back and listen, because if I get started, yeah. it's going to be another one of them bad days. Mm -hmm. Well, you had something you wanted to say that I thought was real intriguing, man. Start us off on this. When As, you said uh, something... Yeah, go ahead, man. Yeah, man. As I remember Marcus Martin last year. I believe he played right guard. Right guard. No, they had him at center, man, because uh, Kilgore went down early. They had him at center mostly all season. But he did play He played guard for two or three games, I remember. I remember, I, well, I don't know, because I remember him playing last year and thinking, hey, he was a high he was a high pick, coming off an ACL, and he was supposed to be a solid prospect. This guy, man, this guy really can't block. Not only that, I mean, we already knew about Eric Pierce, and we yeah. have a practice, we have a we have a, a guy playing right tackle, Tiller, he was off the practice squad, so he didn't have enough talent to make the 53 in the beginning of the this, this season, and it's just 10 sacks in one game, it's just... Oh. Oh my God, man! It's just oh, it's it, it, it. You can't get anywhere with that. Blaine Gabbert, um, he's been playing really good the last few games. This game, he was under fire, man. This guy, he he had people coming unblocked every other play. Every other play unblocked. Oh yeah, man. Oh, no one, no one, nobody was touching anybody. And I mean, I'll give Blaine Gabbert some credit because late in the game. He was still making some throws that were like, all right. I mean, he only had like 120 yards passing, but he was, there were a few throws where I'm like, hey, that was that was a pretty good throw, considering the fact that you've been sacked seven times. You know what I mean? Su it's suicide throws too, because guys were coming at him at full speed. Dudes were in full sprint. Nobody touched them. Coming right at him. He didn't even see one of those guys. I thought he was gonna be seriously hurt. Oh yeah, um, uh, Blaine Gabbard. Uh, 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 he 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 was telling himself, "I feel like I'm back in Jacksonville. It felt like we were watching a Jaguars game two years ago." True. Like exactly. And and then they were talking about it during the broadcast. Is why weren't they giving the ball to Anquan Bolden at all? Like I don't know if he has some injuries or I don't know if, if it was part of the plan. But I mean, Anquan Bolden wasn't involved in the game, and Anquan Bolden, you could tell he was pissed off. So, yeah, later in the game, he was picking fights. Let me, let, me, let, me, let me just ask you a question, though. Anquan Bolden is not fast. No, he's if, never been fast. Yeah, he's not fast. He needs a minute to break at least a little bit of a pattern. Nah. The, the blocking, Blaine had a split second to make a decision. That's why he was hitting Patton, and he tried to hit Ellington, who the ball went right through. Those guys are quick. When they run a, they run a route, they'll get there soon. And... and you had no chance um, for Bolden to develop any routes. Mm -hmm. um, you know, th that there's some truth to that, man, but uh, it's just the game was just so, so bad. And here's the thing about the coaching. I want to say one thing about the coaching. All right, so you've given up six sacks, right? Where are the screens? Where are the quick – why don't we throw any wide receiver screens? I mean, that's a good way to stop some of that pass for us. I mean, there are ways to combat getting taking a lot of sacks. And when I watch the game, I'm just thinking, like, what do you guys – do? like, do you guys not think during the game? It's like they have a game plan, and no matter how bad it goes, they stick to it. I'm sorry, Jeep. but, like – Jeep. Does the word Jeep – Jeep remind uh, you of anything? Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I mean, you know, you know who was really bad. I remember Jeep Chris. Um, it's the Mike Singletary days. I remember, I remember. I remember the offensive coordinator. Oh my God, I remember. He was some. He was an old. He was an old guy. He was an old Ray something. Was it Ray yeah. something? This yeah. guy. This guy. It's reminiscent of that. I remember from the Mike Singletary days. They were just running the ball three times in a row. I'm like, are you guys retarded? Like, are you seriously? You guys are getting paid to coach. Pro football, like you guys don't know how to scheme up a game. You guys don't know how to set plays up later. I, you know what thing that really pissed me off? I was watching the game. They ran. I swear to God, they ran eight, nine play action passes in the first 
15 plays of the game. You're not running the ball to set that up. That's not going to work. You're not running the ball. They didn't run the ball at all. How are you running play action five times straight when you haven't run the ball? The defense was just sitting there waiting because they knew they haven't run a running play yet. Let's just sit back here and see what happens. Oh, guess what? They were going out for a pass again. I think they weren't. Like, it's retarded. I'm watching this game thinking I'm just a cash. I mean, I'm a diehard Niner fan, but I'm not a coach. Why am I able to say this shit? It's like you guys are getting paid for this shit. This is me. It's it's like you're a pro team. Mm, double O, double O. I tell you, we 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 gotta go. But I'll tell you what, at least we know that the quarterback of the Cincinnati Bengals broke his thumb, and who knows, maybe we can beat the Bengals without the red bomber. We can. We'll, we'll, I, uh, I, we'll, we'll see you next you, week. Bro. One thing that was next week, but I also say one thing that was good about the game. I guess if you want to look at it, one bright side is Browns win. Niners lost, draft pick. <laughs> draft, I mean, oh, I'm Double just praying. Oh, that doesn't help us, City. We still got a game unless we lose out the rest of the season because the Browns aren't going to beat, beat anybody else. So, you okay? Hey, Johnny I'll say one thing. Johnny Football, I know he played against our defense, but Johnny Football looked really good. He played a – that's the best game i ever seen him play. So, if he True. builds off, maybe they can win a few more games. But I'm just hoping that we can get some kind of Jackson Lynch action. Okay, right. bro. We, we, we'll see you next week. All right, thanks, man. All right, who, who's we got Mark? Joseph. Joseph. Joseph, come on in, man, because we – you know what this – man, go ahead, man. Whew, good Lord. What's up, man? How you doing? Terrible. Just awful, man. See, <laughs> Joseph is having something to eat and enjoying himself. Joseph, because <laughs> Joseph knew this was going to happen, didn't you? Hmm. All right, turn it out. I'm excited because we're in the last three games. <laughs> we're not even doing this crap no more, bro. <laughs> it doesn't matter what game, Bra- game Blaine Gabbert looks like right now. He looks like Alex Smith. It looks like uh, he looks like he's under pressure like that under with Alex Smith. He's always doing. Boy, get the heck out of here! He's always he has to throw checkdowns. And there wasn't even any checkdowns today. No, I mean it was horrible. Our the coaching and and all the coaching all the way around is just horrific. Hold on, get the heck out of here, kid. The coaching all around was horrific, bro. I mean, like he said, we were running play action pass when we hadn't even run the ball. Then we're running the ball like eight, nine times, and it's not working. No running back can succeed behind this line. No quarterback, and I'm not saying. Oh, I want, oh, I want, Colin Kaepernick back. We'll succeed behind this line. Here's that redheaded freaking lumberjack looking dude is freaking making a name for himself, and he's gonna be out of a job next year. I mean, it's 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 horrible, bro. Hopefully. I was, I was bored. I'm on freaking the second half. It's becoming like a trend. Like, oh, we're not doing good in the first half. We'll be there in the second. Yeah, mm. so much for that. Mm. I mean, it's it, it, Blaine Gabbert this is like dang. This isn't me at all. Mm. It, it, I feel bad for the dude. I feel bad for him because it's like he came and he wants to do good. You can see it in the team's face. But the coaching decisions, the the it's just hurting us. Jim Tom Sula sits over there like a fat cat on the sideline doing nothing. Nothing but biting his freaking dirty nails. Who knows where his nails have been and he's here. Doing this kind of crap, looking like Ron Jeremy. Like, come on, dude. Are you freaking He's serious? Orc's puppet. Yeah. It's like, it's like this. Wow the team up. Dude, suddenly you're sitting over there sweating, and all you're doing is sitting in a freaking jacket. You fat bastard. Do something to our freaking team. Like, <laughs> look at the offensive coordinator. Shots <laughs> fired, dude. <laughs> Did you talk, miss that freaking play again? Why don't they have Cormar? I, I just don't get what's going on. Like, last week? We only won because that kicker freaking, he missed that field goal. We, we did all right. We played all right. But mm. if the coaching was experienced, we would be playing great. Last mm. week, we played all right. This week, it was like, what the hell are you doing? Mm. What are you doing? Are you only making us throw it down the field when, we all, when we're losing or we have two minutes left? Mm. I don't know, bro. Will we, play, will we beat the freaking Bengals? Maybe. Mm. Maybe. Maybe because we're looking like freaking bunch of dummies, and everyone's mm-hmm. the bangles are gonna look at us and laugh. Mm-hmm. 
Yeah. I love that. Can't That's probably it right there. They'll be laughing so hard they won't be able to, they won't be able to play. That's probably it. Let's see what happens though, bro. I mean, I'm really looking forward to next year. Hopefully, having Anthony Davis back, having Gil Gore, having a new We need our draft needs to be an offensive lineman. We need a shutdown corner. We need a shutdown corner. And it's like we we we, we need to focus on that because next year I think I think we got a chance, bro. What's up? Oh, fuck. Um, I think we got a chance this year, man. I'm not even. I'm, I just. I'm not expecting to win the game. I'm just looking at the fact of how. We play and it's just right here. <laughs> she, you know what? She, I could tell she's a 49er fan because she's upset. Got <laughs> <laughs> it out the game, bro. They're they're all over my YouTube videos, so don't mind. They're used to getting on camera. But you know what, I, I don't know. I, I thought we were, it's embarrassing. I just hope the freaking Raiders get freaking counted. Yeah, because the Seahawks already won. Hey, hey, Joseph, let, 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 let me pull some more folks in. I always love your input, man. Thanks for coming by. No! <laughs> 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 hey, you guys say people. Don't trip. We, 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 we'll, we'll get them next year. I know we can't even see you next week, next year. All right, Joseph. <laughs> Later, bro. Have a great, great Sunday. Hey, Andre. Hey, what's up? Yeah, bad things, man. You know, we we go from one extreme to another. Man, we're like manic depressives, like whether we want to be or not. We get extreme highs and extreme lows. Last week was so exciting, and this week we lose to the Browns. It's just extremely embarrassing, man. We can't even go online. People are gonna be waiting for us. Hey, a Forty Nine er fan, man. Yeah, I was saying that before the game. Uh, or not before the game, but like at halftime, I was like, oh, it's going to be one of those days. I can't even go on Instagram. Mm -hmm. I can't go nowhere. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, man, this, this offensive line is probably. I, I like. Even Joe Staley is not doing anything for the yep. team, they're not picking up any. Blitzes, mm -hmm. they're not doing nothing. And this is like, they knew right away, okay, we can just blitz them and, and get us down. Like, that's that's just, our offensive line is cheese. It's Swiss cheese. We look, I think I could probably play a better offensive guard than Eric Pierce. Yeah. And I'm, I, listen, I'm 125 pounds at 5'6". I'm not. <laughs> Andre, I, got, I got to tell you, though, do you know that our quarterback – had the best rating as far as throwing into the blitz. I mean, in, in, in the blitz coverage, he oh, actually yeah, he, has a seventy point something. He's like way ahead of everybody else. It's a small sample. He's only done four games, but the thing is, he was like the best. Today, the Browns took away every last receiver. The short passing game that was the best defensive scheme against the Forty Nine ers since he's been there. I was pissed off. I, but I was impressed. Ah oh, man, I I want. Uh, I don't want Man Genie gone. I kind of want Jeep Chris gone. Please. I, I else really wants Chris gone? I really couldn't care less if Tom Sula is there or not. Uh, the players seem to like him. I guess that's a, a plus. But mm -hmm. I I just want I want him, I want the offensive line gone. I want I, even Joe Staley is questionable for me. Mm -hmm. uh, Alex Boone. I want him gone. They're not producing anything, and it doesn't look like they're getting any better. Uh, Good point there. They're not getting any better. A, okay, we do need a sh – we have okay cornerbacks. Um, our cornerbacks, they're, they're okay, like, but I would like to see someone come from a good place – but you, know, but you know, Andre, it's it's like you cannot put our quarterbacks on an island. See, that's what the thing. Our pass rush today, it didn't exist. Johnny Manziel, did you see that one play where Manziel was just standing there thinking? He wasn't even yeah. trying to run anymore. He was just standing there thinking. And then, our guys were looking like a bunch of little girls trying to get past their offensive line. And, and then Manziel, Brooks. In the fourth, we're just standing there thinking. I said, that's a crying shame. If I'm if I'm Tom Sula, I bench every last one of them. I send in a whole second string. I said, until you guys get ready to play, let me know, because that was just embarrassing. And then also, what what else did we have? We had a, we had a, some good sacks today, I guess. 
But then they all got nullified with that face mask, which was... Corey LeMonnier, that's one of my number one cuts. That's the first guy on my cut list. We need, we need, a, Patrick, we need like a new Patrick Willis and a new O-line. That's what we need. We don't need... And, and, and obviously, new coaching. Uh, <sighs> mainly, get rid of Jeep Chris first and get rid of Mangini. I don't like Mangini's defensive scheme, and I've been saying that since like week two. Uh, it's but too- gotta, you, okay, but but Andre, you got to change some players because on that pass rush, I don't want to see Carradine out there anymore. I want Lemon Yeg on. Uh, on occasion, we get guys that feel like they're going to play hard, and the next minute they come in and it, it, you know the tackling. Guys wiggle through those tackles. They can they can be two guys holding a dude, and he just moves forward. I said, "What? Well, why don't you wrap I- him up?" I like Gerald Hodges. Uh, he's okay. He's, all, he's, he's, he's not a problem. I don't have a problem with him. I don't, this is the thing. I don't want Will Hoyt back in. I don't. No, 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 no. I, For sure. I, he doesn't fit our scheme well. But then again, our scheme sucks. Andre, let's, 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 uh, let's let Mark in here. And you know what? It'll be embarrassing if we win next week no matter what because... If we beat the Bengals without their starting quarterback, we're still going to get talked about like trash. Yeah. We can't win. So anyway, thanks. Hey, thank God we didn't have to play uh, Carolina today, though. Yeah. I'm glad we don't have to play Carolina at all this year. Yeah. So. (laughs) We're going 16 All right, man. All right, bro. See you next week. Later. Yeah. Good, Mark. Yo, what's going on, man? Mark, hey, Manny, unfortunately, nothing's going on. I mean, we, we sat for four quarters and, and watched nothing yeah. going on, man. We're putting man. people to sleep in the second half. I literally fell asleep, bro. <laughs> like, yeah, I, I nodded off a couple of times. I, I, yeah. you know, I was thinking if I woke up, maybe they'll be doing something. Man, I think the coaching staff needs to go from Tom Sula on down, man. I can't take mediocrity. These dudes are not playing with their heart like they used to. Mm. We're talking about defense alignment who are just – like you said, playing powder puff at the line, and then, mm. you know what I'm saying, Manziel is escaping. So I don't know what they're doing. And, but, they, but, but see, the thing is, Mark, last week they weren't tackling great, but they looked a little more energetic. Is it traveling to the east? I just don't – they say traveling believe... two weeks in a row to the east coast can, can drain team. But, man, that is just amazing to watch how sorry. I think our team – sorry. They I look. think our team is a mirror of our coaching staff, man. I think he's confused. One week we get this person, and next week we get that person. It's, it's just a guessing game, and it's like we don't have a straight strategy. We don't have something that we're stead paced on. This is our, you know, you got the Panthers to say, you know, keep beating or keep whatever their mantra is. We don't have that no more. With, with uh, Harbaugh, we had, you know what I'm saying, the Niners, I forgot. You know, we they had something they built on every week. We don't have that. This guy's lost. And it's like it's, you can see it in the players, you know. So I, he's got to go. <laughs> and I can't stand our defense or offensive coordinator. They're, they're they don't know what they're doing. That's like we're predictable. And I do. Somebody said we go back to the Singletary days. That's exactly what I'm seeing out there. I see Sorry. talent. I see talent, but I don't see it. Oh. So man, I I don't know. I'm on here because I need to vent. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So right. I usually watch, but I'm like I need to vent today. So. Yeah, I hear you, man, because, you know, you, you'll sit, end up talking to yourself like I do all the time. I'm sitting there right. talking, watching the TV, talking and yelling and screaming at it. It's not making any difference because you know the coaches can't hear you. The players exactly. can't hear you. Exactly. You're yelling and screaming at them. You know? And, you know, I found your show, bro, so I had to like, I got to get joined here. This is a place, you know, somebody going to hear me today. So I, I got to fit, man. Glad you came by, man. I appreciate it, bro. It's a, it's a misery loves company, man. Exactly. <laughs> All right, Mark. Hopefully, right, see you next. Come on back when it's a good time, too, will you? Yeah, I will. All right, bro. Thanks. Was that Adrian? Uh, hey, Adrian. Yeah, I'm here. Go ahead, man. Oh, God. That was embarrassing. One word beyond uh, amongst many. I I just sat back and... I, I, I woke up and was like, today's going to be a great day. My Niners mm-hmm. are going to whoop up on the Browns. Mm-hmm. And here we are at halftime in three. And <laughs> just thinking, 
all right, you know, everyone's for the second half team. So here I am in for this second half. And here's my kickoff ball when we get stopped. And never got any better. From the first nope. quarter to the fourth, the same thing. No, well, I mean, I get, well, finally the fourth quarter we, we played a little bit. Yeah. I mean, I'm honestly tired of watching them show up and be like, okay, if we're not winning in the first half, let's just not play until the fourth. Mm -hmm. And, I mean, I guess the only positive thing I saw today was Joukowsky Tart got his first interception. Yeah. Forgot that, about that's that. That's the only thing... That's the only thing I saw positive out of today, today's game. <sighs> and, I mean, it's it's almost if the 49ers would go into the draft and look at all of the talent that we potentially use instead of some person that's just going to be a bench rider the whole season and take up space on our roster. Like, don't get me wrong, I like Gabbard. I do think could be I like after Nick and I thought he was going to be a future guy but hello I think, I, okay, I, think, I think we lost Norm Norm man we went from celebration to a, a funeral in like seven days man <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we got a funeral on our hands, man. It was it was a ugly, ugly, but ugly game, yo. And it's just our O line is just trash, yo. Like, mm -hmm. and Kaepernick's not the problem. It's mm -hmm. it's it's our it's our O line. There was a G. Chris is just not. I've, matter of fact, I was online. I was on Google, and I seen condoms from Vietnam that provided better protection than our O line. <laughs> <laughs> There's a comparison. <laughs> it, it, it was, it was at, uh, our defense was I for a few minutes. It was like Pop Tart with that with that pick. Yeah, that was good. And then a mod, and then they got that fumble. And I was thinking it was gonna be cool, but nope, none of that. Why they let me? Ahmad Brooks had a collected a fumble. That's right, huh? Yeah, he did. He picked up that fumble. But other than that, Ma Brooks was just being ugly. Like he was, he was, he wasn't. He he couldn't keep his head right, and that just that messed me up. Like I was like, that's the whole team. Well, he turned into a child on us, and uh, yeah. I but I, I thought they were gonna eject him from the game because he just got belligerent. I mean, it was just ridiculous. Yeah, like you can't do that. Like if you if you get whooped like that, I mean, you still got to keep a good head because you never know when your team can can wake up and do something. But today it was just not that day for for us at all. We didn't do anything. Mm. Yeah. I don't know what happened. Didn't bring any offense, of line, no protection. Gabbard Gabbard had a split second to throw, if that. Receiver. That whole line. Yeah. That oh my, we we it, the draft. Everybody's looking at drafts, and I keep saying, you keep saying it all season. We need we need people up front. That's it. Offense and defense. We need people up front. Mm -hmm. Can't yeah. get nothing going. You can't get nothing going if you can't protect the QB. I don't care who's back there. You can put Matt Shaw back there, and it's it's gonna be ugly. Mm -hmm. I'm tired of the defensive line not providing any pressure on the defense. I mean, on the quarterback too. I, I, I'm really weary of that. The 49ers are famous for putting pressure on the QB. Hey. I, that last quarter, when I seen Manziel standing back there, and he didn't even have to run, he was just standing there, and our guys were like battling like little women behind their offensive linemen. I just, what? Are the, it, it looked oh. like it looked like like when I seen our defense tackle. Uh, it looked like Bruce Jenner trying to stop a pickpocketer. Like, I mean, how do you how, how do you get the guy in your hands and you let him go? I'm I'm just like I'm looking at our defense like they don't even try anymore, and I'm just like, all right, that's. That's how y'all want to play this season, or will? God, pay millions of dollars to just play two hand touch football. Go ahead. Yeah, exactly, two hand touch. That's exactly what it looked like. Yeah. Um, yeah. All right. Well, so what do we got next week? Cincinnati, and and I heard you say something too. You said if we beat Cincinnati, it's still gonna look ugly for us. <laughs> <laughs> 
what's what's the starting quarterback in Cincinnati's name? He, I understand he, he jammed his thumb. They took him out of the game. They lost today because of that too. Anyway, he's he probably won't be playing next week because they're going to want to get him healthy for the playoffs. They're not going to waste him against the 49ers. They're going to think their nah. second string quarterback can beat us anyway. Yeah, so, you know that's going to suck. I mean, you're going to sit there getting whooped up our. By, and he actually played good uh, for them today. Yeah. Yeah. AJ, hey, whatever his name is. Yeah. McGregor or something like McCannon. So I don't know. He yeah. played pretty good. Yeah. He. You know what? But here's the thing, guys. The 49 defense will show up next week. Oh, they'll be playing like gangbusters. They will look yeah. like a team we won't even recognize. You just uh, can't put them on an airplane. You can't put them on a bus because that takes all their steam. As soon as they get off the bus, they walk in. All of a sudden, oh man. Why is that an excuse? Though? Why is that an excuse though? Why does that have to be an excuse that oh we got on an airplane? There's that should be no excuse for a defense to go out there and play two hand touch, man. Like you should. If you, you want you want to win games, you need defense, and that's off top. We looking like the Cowboys defense for the last three or four years, <laughs> and that's a cry and shame, embarrassment there too. Hey, All right, Norm, let's uh, let's move, and you know, we'll see you next week after we get through losing another game. Oh, I didn't say that. We will win next week. We'll be embarrassed, no, we but we'll still win. We'll take the win. We're gonna play. We're gonna get out there on the field, and and we're gonna have fans hold it down. They'll win next week. I get, you know what? I promise you guys will win next week just because they're at home. They got embarrassed. It takes shame for them to play, though. See, they feel good well, about themselves last week. Say, we go to Cleveland, kick back. We know they can't beat us. <laughs> Cleveland handed them, handed them their butts from the first quarter to the fourth. Three hundred. I think we got out gained like five hundred to like hundred yards. Things like we got oh. like a hundred, maybe a hundred and some change. But they got like. Eric Mangini's feelings are hurt right now. Mm. Yeah. All right, Norm. Thanks for coming by, man. See you next week, okay? All right. Yeah. Yeah. Brandon. Hey. Hey, Brandon. Uh, that was that was embarrassing. Um, it's all, it's everybody's first word, embarrassing. Embarrassing. Is uh, that that? It, it's like. We are playing the worst rushing defense in the NFL, and we can't get nothing going. And we act like if we keep on running, it's going to eventually work. It does not work. It's just not going to work. We got to pass more. But if we pass, we get sacked. So what do we? Just lay down and die, just like we did. I don't know what it is about being somewhere else that throws us off. But it does, and it's killing mm-hmm. us. Mm-hmm. Um, I would say first thing, looking at the off season, it's get rid of Tom Sula. It's get rid of the offensive coordinator for certain. Mm-hmm. I don't know about keeping Mangini. He's been good and bad. But you know, I, Mangini just needs personnel. His scheme is not that bad, from what I can see. Let's say if Lynch shows up today. Uh, I, you know, I don't know who else is missing. Will Hoyt was not that big of a factor. I don't know why the defense can't seem to get it together. That's the first time they play. How many mobile quarterbacks have we played against other than, ah, now you see, here's the thing. They looked exactly like they looked against Seattle for the exact same reason. Russell Wilson was all over the field, right? Johnny Manziel, Manziel was all over the field. He He played us like a fiddle out there. Every time he moved, he drew the defense in and he hit a receiver pretty. I mean, Menzel was like a he was like a surgeon out there. It was a gorgeously done game. I hate it. It was us, but he did a great job. And there was nothing we could do about it. He yeah, he played like he made us look like the Vikings back at our sewer season opener. That's mm-hmm. what Menzel made us look like. Mm-hmm. And that that's a shame. That's a shame that we went out there, we played that way. He looked like he was back at A&M playing another college team. I know. And then, I don't know, like, the quarterback situation, I think that's not the problem. The offensive line's totally, just completely the problem. That's the problem with our offense entirely. Um, But quarterbacks, 
whether we have Gabbert next year or Kaepernick next year, I think we'll be better off with both of them. It's just the offensive line. That's what Blake needs to look at during the offseason. Draft picks and free agency, if we can, we need to get big offensive linemen. Yeah, there's going to be a lot of money to spend next year. And I think Tripp collected all those draft picks just so he can make some deals to make a lot of free agency trades. I really think that's what he's saying, because otherwise he's got way too many draft picks. I mean, you don't need four guys out of each round, and you can't use them anyway. Uh, where are they going to play? Either you're going to cut half the squad just to bring in the draft picks? I think he's got a plan for picking up free agents next year. Yeah. Huge plan. Yeah, and he better use some money for it, too. It better not be, this is going to be our backup. It better be, this is going to be our new starter. Yeah, no, he's got plenty of money, and that's why I say he's going to sweeten the pot. Let's say you get... Uh, any number of players, you sweeten the pot by throwing in X amount of players and this deal, and then you, you, you go ahead and give them draft picks as well. People got to jump for that. Yeah. Well, and also the receiving court. Needs work, doesn't it? It's okay. It, the receiving court, I think, could be better. It needs to create more separation. Please. God, yes. And, yeah, just... Overall, horrible game, horrible season. Need to get Tom Sula out of there. Need to get offensive coordinator out of there. Defense coordinator could stay. I wouldn't care. But just overall, just a complete rehab. That's yeah. what this franchise needs. It needs a complete rehab. All righty. Let's, uh, let's uh, see you next week, and hopefully we'll be in a better a better state to talk next week. <laughs> so, yeah. Thanks for coming by, bro. All right. Is it a 49er Wildcat? Sup, Rombo? Ah, losing. Well, I'm going to be honest with you, okay? So before we get to the serious stuff, first off, do you think Carolina is going to go 16-0? and Yeah, I looked at their schedule. Uh, yeah, I do. They, Panthers, they have... Who, who, I see nobody to stop them uh, to go 16-0. and the Giants are next uh, next week for them, and then there's Atlanta, and then their final opponent is Tampa Bay. I don't see too many uh, threats to uh, Carolina this season, and to be honest, um, this loss to me doesn't really hurt me at all because, you know, it's not considered surprising to me. And the fact that we got beaten by the Cleveland Browns, now that kind of stings a lot because they're like one of the worst franchises in NFL history, Will, prior to the Super Bowl era. 1967 circa, but in my personal opinion, what we saw today was kind of a snooze fest. I mean, all I saw today, there just wasn't any effort from the team. I mean, the defense did all right, but it just wasn't enough. Like, there was also no offense. I mean, there were times when I thought the Niners were actually going to score some uh, TDs or even score a little more. Uh, we got a blocked field goal. And last week, uh, the Bears missed the field goal. And then after that, um, there was another fumble after Menzel got sacked. And what hurts even more in this game is that Blaine Gabbert got sacked nine times. I thought he made the even ten. No, it's uh, nine it times, nine. I think. Nine times. But mm -hmm. either way, uh, that's a tough one to swallow. But you know what? I'm very used to uh, losing these games this year. I'm very used to it. And besides, if there's anyone to blame for this football team's uh, disaster this season, it's the management that has uh, coordinated this team. Mm -hmm. The management, to me, has uh, broken the 49ers. They have broken it, piece by piece. It's all gone. There's not many, too many people left uh, for, from uh, the Harbaugh era. They're running out of uh, people. I mean, when I look at the Niners roster right now, all I see right now is... Mostly new guys. And there's almost nobody um, from the Harbaugh era except for, um, I'm trying to think, Ellington, uh, Patton, Bolden. They're all still there. They're all still there. Miller's still there. So, obviously, there's not many people left. Yeah, there isn't. But overall, um, do I think Tom Sula needs to be fired? Absolutely, yes. He's done absolutely nothing for this team. We're 4-9, and, and we're pretty much eliminated from playoff contention. And I do see Seattle possibly making the playoffs. Possibly. I, I don't know. They're, they're in. There's nothing that's going to stop them now. Yeah, I honestly think Seattle has now finally regrouped. And uh, you saw the game between them and Baltimore. That wasn't even a game at all. 
it that just wasn't, wasn't. Be, yeah that wasn't going to be a game to begin I mean they didn't even they could have phoned that one in actually it wasn't even necessary to play uh, Baltimore to me has kind of lost it now they kind of lost the first it. string quarterback Flacco's gone yeah it, it's it's definitely over we'll be yeah, battling with them in Cleveland for the first round draft pick oh so yeah really Detroit, huh yeah in Detroit hmm yeah, they're pretty I, I, bad as well. Wait, you know what, Detroit? How many has Detroit won their fifth game already? I think they did. Uh, they lost. I'm trying to look it up right now. Let's see. Uh, who they're losing did? today, but I mean, I thought they won their fifth game last week or the week before. I'm not sure. Oh, they lost uh, to uh, St. Louis. They lost to the Rams today. Yeah. They lost to the Rams today. They're four nine. Oh, so they're as bad as we are. Okay. Yeah, so we're as bad as we are, but I don't know who the exact worst team is in the National Football League. I don't know who the exact worst team is out there. Cleveland I mean, still holds that, actually, up until today. Well, yeah, now um, I think the 40... Oh, really? Yeah, Cleveland Cleveland has three wins on the season. We have four, along with about three other teams. And, uh, yeah, Cleveland's still the, the armpit of the league. Uh, uh, until next week. Now, if they pull off another couple of wins, uh, I don't know. That could change. We could be, become the bad team of the NFL. <sighs> what about Dallas? Do you think they're bad? Oh, yeah. Dallas? But you know what? Dallas is only bad because they lost all their people, though. So oh, yeah. Their know. injuries have hurt him. And there's no Tony Romo. Mm -hmm. And he got injured twice. But um, also, uh, Romo, do you think um, Minnesota can get into the playoffs? And so is Washington? Oh, I did forget about Minnesota. Now, Minnesota just might be able to hold off. The Actually, Minnesota could be a problem for the, for the Seahawks. If Minnesota wins a couple more games, the Seahawks might not be able to catch up. If Green Bay stays ahead, of, it'll become a, a race between Green Bay and Seattle. Somebody's got to win the division, though. That's an interesting race. I have not, it's, won't be able to tell until next week. Well, obviously... Um... The Bengals and the Patriots are racing for the second seed, but in my opinion, I think New England's going to hold on to that second seed. And Andy Dalton just got injured today with an injury to the thumb, but I do expect him to make a, a recovery by next week, possibly. But uh, I'm not so sure about it. But overall, uh, back to the 49ers for a second. I mean, uh, in case if you didn't know, I'm sure you know by now. You heard uh, Parag Murad has been, um, like, uh, reassigned to another uh, thing within the Niners. I heard he's uh, doing something with the soccer team in Sacramento. You heard about that, Rombo? Where no. Barack is going? Well, listen, no, no, you've been, but listen we're, gonna, we're not going to be able to extend on that because we're, we're out of time. I gotta, we got to go ahead. Oh, okay. but you know what? Save that topic and maybe next time. Yeah, but, see ya. Uh, thanks for coming in, bro. Thanks. We're gonna, cause we've got a few people here waiting. We're going to run out of time here. So let me, let me, let me see you next week, okay? Hey, Wretched Drummer. <laughs> Wretched drummer. <laughs> Love the name. Wow. Wretched drummer, what's up, man? What's up, man? It's Andres coming from Salinas. That's right. Hey, dude! What's up? <laughs> Hometown yeah. boy, my homie. <laughs> dude, how bad? How bad did you suffer for this game, man? Uh, I mean, this whole season is kind of like you know hit and miss, but. I, I was liking some, like, maybe a little bit of the defense. They could have done way better, but I like Quentin Dial. You know, Joukowsky Tart, they were doing some stuff out there. Aaron Lynch was out, so, you know, I was, like, kind of bummed about that. Mm. Yeah, and um, the offense, I mean, did uh, Alex Boone, I wonder what kind of injury he got. Yeah, no further report on that. He just didn't come back, but he was limping really bad, man. I, I smell ACL. Yeah, I, I was pretty bummed out about that. The injuries are, like, killing us this year, and then it's just like a, a rebuild year for us. You know, obviously, Gabbert uh, couldn't really do much with the same offensive line that was getting Kaepernick murdered, mm -hmm. you know. Today, so, worse than uh, ever, though, because he was okay two weeks before this with that same stupid offensive line. This week, I don't know, maybe the league has figured out something about that. Gabbard had no check down places. He had no place to go. They cut the short pass off. They, uh, Their guys were rushing past our offensive line like there was nobody there. Man, nine times took him down. Uh, that was bad. Did he get any? He didn't get any interceptions, right, this game? No, nah, no INTs. Close, but no INTs. Yeah, so, I, I mean, at least, at least he did that. <laughs> but... <laughs> 
I yeah, mean, that's why I didn't blame Gabbard because I said, you know what? The week before they gave him at least enough time to hit his check down. There was not even enough time to hit the check down. There was no check down available. You know, I mean, he's when he ran uh, the few times he ran, there was no other option. There was absolutely no other option. So you yeah. know, because he does take a look first, because he got creamed a couple of times trying to find a receiver. And those lousy, can't get away from nobody receivers could not break away and get any separation. I, you know, it's, it's just terrible. Yeah, I mean, we'll see. Uh, I'm looking forward to next season, definitely. Uh, I'd say I give us maybe like a couple years to we're a playoff team again because we're totally rebuilding after Harbaugh and everyone leaving, you know. But just at least compete next year. That's all. At least compete. Be in the game. You don't have to. If you lose, okay. But don't just get embarrassed like we did today from fourth, first quarter to fourth quarter. Yeah. We're not even involved in the game. By the We're, Browns. <laughs> yeah. And to the yeah. Browns. Two and what? God. Oh, that was so ugly. All right, man. All right, Richard Joe, man. Thanks for coming by, bro. I'll see you That's online, fine. huh? All right, later. All right. Wyatt. Wyatt, Wyatt, I got no sound, man. Wyatt, hit you. your your mute button is still on. Check check out on your phone. There's a little icon. It's got your microphone okay. cut off. I'm here. Ah, there you are. Okay. All righty. Hey, Rombo. Hey. Man, what a freaking pathetic loss today. Oh. To, to Johnny Football and the Browns. The oh, duty Browns of all freaking teams. God. Uh, well, you know, I think I'll, I'll first mention the, the, the things I was kind of pissed off most about today besides, you know, just like the typical stuff we've been suffering all season. Um, you know, we, we had some uh, chances to capitalize on all their turnovers they made. You know, I think they made like three total turnovers today, the Browns did. Mm -hmm. First one being that, that failed uh, three three point kick, you know, that we, yep. that we blocked. And then, uh, yeah, we, cut, we recovered. Um, didn't capitalize on that. Uh, mm -hmm. What else? The. Uh, the fumble? Uh, the fumble by uh, the strip fumble by Ian Williams that Brooks recovered. Uh, yep. Didn't capitalize on that. Nope. And then, of course, you know, the, the pig by Tart is like, oof, man, we could have, it's like, we didn't capitalize on that either. <laughs> no points. That's a, yeah. that's, that's a minimum yeah. nine points right there. Yeah. Nine points, yeah. Even, just a minimum. Or a potential 21. That's, that's ridiculous. Uh, uh, Gabber, or O line, you know, not helping today, stinking. Uh, really bad, really, really bad. Uh, sh our receivers, man, like, like I love Bolden. He's he's still a beast, but he's just not getting separation like he used to. You know, Too slow. Slower. Too slow. Too slow. Tory, he's just like a he's like a straight shot guy. You know, spreads the field out. Patton was doing good today. I like I like you know how he was putting in some work. Uh, Ellington, freaking drop pass on that that one crucial uh could have been a first down. Um, right in his hands. Right, right in his, his hands. hands. Right on the money. Yeah, it's like I, I thought he'd be doing good this season, but you know he's been kind of a no show. Isn't um, that the truth? Ellington. Yeah. He hasn't shown up this year. He's been a pain in the neck. He can't yeah. punt. He can't receive punts, and now he can't receive passes. What's he good for? What, what's he good for? You know, yeah. I, he's supposed to be this baller in college, playing like multiple sports. He, you know, it seems like you know, can't work his way into the system here. Um, so, you know, for the draft, I'm hoping we draft O-line first. I, I still think we could work around Gabbert, um, work, you know, get our O-line boosted up, get some more pass rushers, and maybe draft the receiver, you know, because uh, besides Torrey, Patton, you know, we got Ellington, who's a, who's kind of a question mark, of course. Um, uh, Bolden's getting older. DeAndre Smelter's a question mark. So, yeah, I think we could draft another receiver, you know, this coming draft. I got a feeling Smelter's going to be hot, though. Uh, the guy is I'm just like, the I ideal 6'2". He's got these huge hands. Yeah, 11 inches. Strong hands. as an ox. This guy could be the real deal. Right. And then you got the other guy. Uh, the quick. There's a couple of quick guys. You got DeAndre White. I don't know why we're not using him more. Um, and you, you got Dre Anderson. Those guys right. are all quick. Uh, there's going to be uh, there could be a whole that competition for wide receiver next year is going to be pretty crazy. Pretty great, yeah. Yeah, they could draft uh, another wide receiver though. I don't. I don't know if there's room. I don't know who they. It better be a real stud though. Right. Um, so that just hurt us today. I couldn't convert a third down worth a lick. Oh. Um, uh, Jeep Christ, he, Chris, Chris, uh, however you pronounce his name, he needs to go. Yeah. Come over his play calling. It's not creative. Uh, it's too predictable. 
Um, doesn't know how to utilize our talent that we that we do have. Um, Tom Sula, he'll probably stay. I'm just hoping we get like a, a, a new, true offensive mind in this uh, in this franchise and this team. Man, and that's what it pretty much needs. I mean, if you had somebody running the offense besides Jeep, I gotta believe it's gotta be better than that. Right. Right. Um, and uh, Manzel, he was looking like Russell Wilson out there, just dodging, eluding our, <laughs> our, our freaking linemen, uh, making like the you know the little up and over rainbow passses right over our guys' heads. Just abused uh, us. Manzel. I mean, he just he made us look. I mean, like a horrible, horrible team. We made him look like a really good quarterback, which is embarrassing. Oh, in we fact, he, he, he owes he owes people money on the 49ers because. They may have saved his position. He may stay in Cleveland now just right. because of the 49ers. Because whatever happens from now on, they say, well, you know that game against the 49ers, he just needs a little work. Yeah. They'll always use us now. Oh, how about that game against the 49ers? Oh, God. It's... Right. Well, I, I do think that's their best shot. That's their best quarterback. I mean, out of all the people they have, like I think he's the best one, you know. Oh yeah, but the, but the, but you know if if they if they were thinking about whether we should they should pull a quarterback in the first round of the draft or not. Oh right. Uh, but how how about that game against the 49ers? See, right. we got to hear that forever, man. Right. Yeah. yeah. I know. It's and uh, Dante Winner. God, I miss that guy. Seeing him on the field yeah. making plays on the other side, she's like ah, wish she still had him. But uh, uh, yeah, no tackling today again. Just freaking sliding off guys. Get two hands on him, nothing. You know, no discipline at all. No discipline. Yeah. That at at some point you do have to blame the coach. I mean, if he's not getting on these guys, if they're doing that in practice, and I find it hard to believe they're not doing that in practice. I mean, it looks like a bad habit. Right. If you're gonna wrap a guy up, it's all about the attitude. And you can hit oh. somebody, hit him. Yeah. What are you doing? This Speaking of attitude, I mean, like they didn't even look. They didn't look like they're into the game at all today. You know, at least at least last uh, last week against the Bears, you know, there was all this motivation to, you know, to beat Fangio. This this week, it was just like, you know, I was hoping the motivation would to be dominate uh, Manziel, but there was none of that. You know, it was just Gabriel looked kind of lost, and yeah, oh, he's lost. The guy was probably, you know, you probably got concussed. They just didn't check him. They hit him yeah. so hard a couple of times, man. I said, uh, man, that's, well, that was brutal. He got up. And I was, wow. Yeah. So. All right. Oh, well. Next week, maybe we can stop. You know, we need two weeks and we don't do this. At least two weeks we're not talking about why we got our butt kicked again. Yeah. Oh, this was all – this should have been it. Yeah, right. this should have been uh, at least one of uh, two more wins we, we should be getting this season, but nope. So I, yeah. I'm thinking we're only going to win one more game before the season ends. I think we're going to go 5-11. and 11. <laughs> <laughs> All right, bro. All right. See you next week, huh? Oh, yeah. Thanks, Rama. All right. RD, the reaction dude. How you doing, Rambo? Terrible. Yeah. Oh, hold on. Let me turn my camera on. How you doing, Rambo? Now, I have to say something real quick. Mm -hmm. um, what do you think our record is going to be at the end of the season? Because we, we need to fix this record. We need to fix this whole team. It's because, funny because, like he just said, though, he didn't he say, well, did he say five and eleven? I think he said five and eleven. I'm not yeah. sure. Uh, you know, one more game. I'm gonna I'm gonna go with five and eleven too. Yeah, I'm not. One more. Sure Let's come on, man. We can't go four and twelve. Please don't tell me you got four and twelve lined up. I don't have four and twelve. <laughs> <laughs> what do you got? I might I might say uh, six ten. And Six and ten, probably. Yeah. <laughs> ten more. Ten more, please. Because we need to fix this whole 49ers team. Um, I want Tom Sula out this team like really quickly because we went from an NFC champion through not making, not even making it in the hunt for two straight seasons. How how bad is that? Because it, it, it's disgusting. It's horrible. It's disgusting too. I could just. You could just hear, like I could just hear rumors in my head right now, like you know, uh, uh the Forty ers lost to the Cleveland Browns. They're three and eleven. Oh man, I could just hear that at school now. Yeah, yeah, no, you're in trouble, man. Don't you know what? In fact, maybe for a couple of days, and maybe people get over it. Don't wear any colors. Just uh, go in plain, vanilla all the way, babe. Cause man, is you if you walk in tomorrow in class and sitting there with a jersey on. Oh, man, no, he did not come in here with that jersey on. It'd be all over you, man. 
I so, got yeah. a banana peel on there. I know. <laughs> it's going to be rough for all of us for weeks. Lost to the Browns. See, you got no because nobody's really realizing the impact of this. We lost to the Cleveland Browns, and we didn't just lose to the Browns. We actually, dude, we were killed. They just beat the crap out of us. Just beat us down through the dirt and stepped on us with nasty boots. Johnny Manziel. Johnny Manziel had because like he was playing like his old college football at Texas A and M days there. Mm -hmm. you know, he was running around, you know, dodging these linebackers. Uh, if we still would have had Patrick Willis, he would have knocked the helmet out of him, but that ain't gonna happen. I mean, we gotta fix this whole 49ers team. That's that's what I have to say to this because we can't lose to a Cleveland Browns team that's three and eleven this this season. And they all they've always been a horrible team, and now that we're losing to the this team is like you know not even funny anymore. Mm -hmm. You know, they could have been close at least. If we maybe would have lost by three points, I can almost handle that. But no, no. We got beat to death. They gave us a charity touchdown at the end. Yeah, a touchdown at the end. If we would have stayed at three, I would have yelled at the TV too, because that's the that's pretty much like the same score we we were against like the Seattle Seahawks, I think. That was yeah, horrible. Yeah, I think too. so. Did, did we score? Any, we only scored thirteen points, or uh, we we scored only ten points against Seattle. Yeah, we, we only scored to score 10. that game. Yeah. Uh, same game. We scored thirteen. I can't remember. I, I, it seems like we scored a touchdown and something else. I thought we had... Oh, I don't know. I can't remember that score. But anyway, all right. Yeah. Tell you what, Jackson, dude, we're going to see you next week. I'm already ready to wrap up here. i got a couple of guys. But we'll see you next week, and hopefully we'll not be talking about the same beating again. Hopefully. Oh, my God. Andy Dalton's out. I'm right, sure bro. he might be back on next week, but, you know. I, you know, what. it's a thumb. It's a thumb. It could be serious. Sure. All right, Rambo. See ya. All righty. Hey, Zero. Hey, Rambo. Hey. How are you feeling? Feeling like I wish we could start that game again. Maybe if we played it twice, it wouldn't happen that way again. Maybe they'd wake up the second time. <laughs> Maybe we could play it in Madden and just rewind. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Try that. That's the only way to win. Yeah. yeah. What did you think of the Seahawks game? You know, I haven't watched it yet. I'm going to go watch it. I'm going to get that on demand. Uh, if you, but you know what? The Seahawks beat them so bad. It's, it's got to be kind of boring. I mean, you knew they were going to beat. The, the Ravens can't stop anybody. Yeah. So I, I knew they were going to I thought it was a game game. going into the second half because it was only like 14 to 6. Well, I saw 28 when I finally stopped watching. Well, at halftime, it was 14 to 6 um, Seahawks. So I thought there might have been a game. Yeah, it, 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 I know that I seen 28, and I it probably scored up even more than that. It was 35-6 uh, yeah. final. Yeah. Well, you, you, what do you want to add? I don't know. Just the quarterback and the offensive line. Mostly the offensive line is trash and peers. Yeah. <laughs> That's the story all season long, Eric Pears. The guy's so bad news. I feel bad for him, kind of. How come? Well, just because he's so bad. Yeah. <laughs> but look how long he's been in the league playing that bad. I think I think Eric Paris has been in the league for about four or five years playing that bad too. He gets these. I thought top... he was decent in Buffalo. I, I heard he was. I thought I heard he was awful in Buffalo. His rating was the the worst at that position. If he plays anywhere besides tackle, he, he is just awful. If he plays guard, he's just gonna kill you. That's why Buffalo got rid of him. So. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah. Um, what do you think of uh, Daniel Kilgore not being in the game yet? Did Kilgore he... did get in the game, actually. Uh, uh, I didn't watch it, so. Oh, okay, yeah, he was in. Uh, it didn't really help any. He can only play the center position. Marcus Martin moved over and made it worse from the guard position. I, they I really... kept Andrew Tech at guard. Yeah, they, there's going to be a lot of problems. Did you know what? I, I'm almost out of time. So I'll tell you what. Let me let me go on, and you got toward the end of the show. I'm gonna see you next time, all right? Okay. See you. All right, bro. Thanks for coming by. I right, CJ is CJ. Hey, what's up, bud? Hey, bro. It's, a, it's <laughs> another it's another weekend of misery. After we, we're, we're like the manics 
the manic depressive fans, we get extreme highs and we get dropped into these lows. And it's just been a tough season. I mean, you almost need to take medication to, to be a 49er fan this season. I mean, the anxiety is just, it's just endless. And then you get a brief rest from it and then you go right back into it again. And we watch things that don't make any sense. To lose to the Cleveland Browns, CJ. Why? Hey, Rambo, I'm going to be honest with you, man. Um, I was debating even to get on the show. And the only reason I got on was because it's you. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> you know, uh, I, I, and, and, I, and I love company when I'm miserable, so thanks, man. Yeah, right? <laughs> Misery loves company, right? Um, exactly. Uh, I'm going to flip the script, though, man. We deserve this win. Uh, this loss, I'm sorry. We deserve this loss. Mm. And um, and I was listening, and, you know, I heard people was talking about Ahmad Brooks and stuff like that, but I'm going to tell you right now, that was the dude that I was impressed with. Okay. Um, his passion in the game. Um, mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, I mean, he seemed like in the defense, he was the only one that was really passionate about doing what he can um, to win this game. Even with the punch, I, I know it was stupid what he did. But the thing is, is the fact that, you know, uh, his intention, I, I truly believe that he was uh, trying to spark some people to go ahead and step up and play. But um, nobody follows suit. But, you know, it's – this game, um, I guess, if you want to sum it up, I, it was comical. I don't know. I, I don't know if it was just me, but I thought it was, it was comical. The game, the game was there for us to take, but you know what? It was one of those things that, uh, man, I don't even know. I mean, I, I don't even know what bought this team anymore, man. You know, but. I'm lost for words, man. I know I'm I'm scrambling around for words, but uh, I think that that's what the team are doing right now is that they're scrambling around and trying to find out the identity. And I don't think that the 49ers have absolutely no identity when it comes down to um, getting their asses on the field and then actually grinding because um, when you want to run the ball, when you think that they're going to run the ball or you want them to run the ball, they're passing the ball, you know, and – um, especially down in the goal line and all this. It's just it, – it makes no sense to me at all. I don't know what's what G. Chris is thinking, um, mm. and I don't even know if he has a brain. You know what I mean? It's yeah. just, it blows me away. But all in all, but you know what? I'm going to tell you right now, this is a true testament as far as who the fans are and who the who the bandwagon fans are and then also who the real faithfuls are. So, But you know what? I'm going to ride this team out until, you know, red and gold, until, you know, dead and cold. So. Mm -hmm. Cause CJ, we've been through this before, but just it's just always hard to endure. It just it just pulls at your heartstrings. You 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 step in front of that TV in the first quarter, you're all excited because of last week. You figured maybe they turned the corner, and they go back into some of the things we've seen in Game Four, Game Three. Just took a huge step back. We're supposed to be moving forward. We're taking these huge steps back. Right? No, you're absolutely right, man. And yeah. if if I had the money, I I will hire you as a GM. You know what I mean? <laughs> so <laughs> oh, I tell you what, they let let me get in there and start putting some players out because what Trent does is highly questionable. Because see, you put your coaches in a bad position when you send marginal players out there. Eric Parrish should have never been hired. You should have looked anywhere, anywhere. Just keep looking, or just leave that space open. Find something else. Sharice Wright was a mistake. Why did Trent sign Sharice Wright? We abused him in the last game of last season like right. nobody else's stepchild. Oh, Why would you sign him? The news is out on Eric Pears. Everybody knows Eric Pears can't play. Why did you sign him, Trent? Yeah. See, this is the things I don't understand. And, you know, it's – no. I mean, you I mean, you hit it on – I mean – the nail on the head. I mean, you you hit it in the head. I mean, what you know, it's just I think we're all lost right now. And, you know, I just wish that, you know, we had some voice in this matter, you know. Mm. And but you know what? I mean, what can you do, you know, at this point? Wait. I mean it's all we can do just, is we, we we gotta wait. 
you're right. You know, and it, you know, it's it's sad when um, the worst coach in 49ers franchise we all thought was Erickson. And, <laughs> <laughs> and, but he's but still in top three. Decent. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But, you know, you know what? This, all in all, I mean, that's what makes us as a faithful. You know what I mean? So True. let's just ride it out, you know? I mean, we've all did it. I mean, we've, we've seen the bad, we've seen the worst, and then we also, you know, seen the best. But you know what? Um, that what that's what makes the 49ers faithful. And um, it is what it is, man. I mean, we can't change it. I mean, we'll see what happens. And then, uh, but, you know, it's just, I think that I, I still stand to this day. I think that we have a, if we have a better leadership uh, in this organization, uh, it's going to make a world of difference. You know, right. it's, it's not the, it's not the players. I mean, uh, the players going to go ahead and do what they got to do. But the thing is, they got to have faith in the system. And I don't think that the organization in itself has given them, um, uh, you know, the reason to believe in the system because, uh, you know, and I can only imagine what the players are feeling. I mean, I'm sure that they're lost as we are, you know, mm. as far as what's going on in the organization, you know, but, um, but, you know, it's, we just got to stay strong. I mean, it's not about, you know, at this point, it's not about winning or losing. I think that it it, it really boils down to, you know, who's going to be the man up there to go ahead and step up to the plate, you know. And I think that, you know, as far as the 49ers football, you know, it, it, it it's like Vince Lombardi said, you know, it's a man's character will prevail or talent. And, you know, mm. and I don't think that we have enough talent um, to overcome certain situations but you know what we do have a lot of character on that team and i think that that's they just need to step up to the plate you know and be who they are you know and but hey stay positive man and you know and go niners you know we'll do we'll do cd i'm gonna i'm gonna, I'm gonna sign out and thanks for coming by bro it's always nice to hear from you man it really is you know it you know it all right all right, all right cj i'll see you, see you later. next week bro all right bye all right and with that said, another sun setting on the 49ers. Be careful. You know, they're waiting for us. We lost to the Cleveland Browns, the 2-10 and 10 Cleveland Browns. Now we can't even consult. We can't even call ourselves as good as they are. It's going to be rough out there. We're together. We're still strong, though. 49er faithful, just like CJ said. Proud of it, too. See you next week. <laughs>